In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Layer More, which is a patcher preset, to control and manipulate the presets inside of Harmer. So to pull up Layer More, all you have to do is load up a patcher. Make sure you do that inside of the channel rack. There's two versions of patcher. You have an effects version and an instrument version. So use the instrument version to load into your channel rack. From there, go into your presets here and scroll down to XY Labs and go to Layer More. From there, I recommend going into the map and pulling up these instances of Harmer as you change them. So this first one is the Wub. The second one is Dirty. This third one is the Reese. And the fourth one is called Plucked. You can also have all four of these showing at the same time. Just hold Alt and double click on each of these. I'm gonna warn you not to play this sound as soon as you load this up. Turn this compression all the way off and then you won't blow out your ears. So after you do that, what I recommend, if you already know that you're gonna be playing chords and whatnot, switch this to poly mode instead of mono, unless you're specifically trying to make a lead, but we're gonna make uh, some poly chords here. So now we can play multiple keys together instead of. So layer more is a four layered harmer patch. The four layers are in the four corners here. I'm gonna turn off all the layers except for the keys. So now this is all we hear. Now I'm gonna go into the map and to pull up the key section, go to the dirty version of Harmer here, which is the second Harmer from the top. Really the only thing that you're changing inside the individual modules with layer more where it says keys, mod, pluck, or wub, is just the volume and the panning. The middle section is actually going to adjust all four harmers at the same time. So as I adjust this filter, the cutoff and the resonance will adjust on the dirty version of Patcher. And if I alt click and load up the wub, you'll notice that it'll change on the wub at the same time. And as you can see here, it's specifically changing the second filter on the Wub and only the first filter on the Dirty. So each of these Harmer presets are mapped specifically to Layer More in a very specific way. And once again, just like with the previous tutorials with AeroPad, this is something that I definitely like to start off with when I'm using Harmer rather than trying to make a patch from scratch from Harmer because all these modulations and routings are already done for you in terms of really achieving a sound quickly and easily that is useful. Next to the filter, you have the filter envelope. And then distortion. This whole section is pre-fader, so this is all being driven into your effects. Then you have, then you have post-processing. So this is after you've done your basic effects. So you can see this filter is actually controlling the filter of your distortion right here. Which actually filters out everything after you've done your distortion. This distortion and this compression is actually routed outside of Harmer. So if you go into the map, you're actually changing your wave shaper, which each of these patchers are programmed to a specific wave shaper. And then all of that goes out into Maximus, which is where we get, where we also get more shaping and distortion and compression. So this is controlling wave shaper and this is controlling Maximus. Because of how bad the compression settings sound, I 1000% recommend going into Maximus and adjusting the settings. Right now we're on the low and you can see that this low end is really cranked up pretty high. I'm gonna turn it all the way down and then we're gonna go back into the controls and turn up the compression and see if it's more useful. Sure enough, that helped already. So we're not getting this crazy booming. And 
And then from there you have your effects. So you have a flangus, phaser, delay, and reverb. The flangus should be controlling the chorus here, and the phaser will control the phaser section, and the delay and reverb will control the effects, delay and reverb inside of Harmer. <laughs> So that literally just increased the mix of the chorus. Again, you can go inside of these and adjust these as you'd like. Here's the phaser. More delay. Bigger reverb. And then I'm just going to add in the other layers of sound and adjust the volumes from here. I'm going to leave that down the middle. I'm going to pan the keys to the right. Turn on the pluck. Turn this down. Pan this to the pan this to the left. And then turn on the wub. Turn this down and increase the volume and bring it in. I'm also going to leave that down the middle. So we have two down the middle and one on the right and one on the left. With all these layered together, I actually think this sounds better as a lead with what we just created. And once again, I definitely want to emphasize going into each of these individual harmers and adjusting these further and maybe go even crazier by switching out the presets here. So for example, on Dirty, where we're controlling the keys, let's go to the presets and switch this to something from the keyboard section. Let's try EP Moonlight e or Moonlight EP. I don't know why I read that backwards. <laughs> And all we did was just change one of the four presets there without making any adjustments. This thing can keep you busy for days and days and days in terms of quickly creating patches that sound really, really good without you messing around with the tedious routing or modulating or any of that. It's already done for you. You just go in and fine tune the settings that you're looking for. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be covering the next Harmer preset here, which is Resor. So subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely check out my overall overview of the Harmer Patcher presets inside of FL Studio Patcher. And as always, comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.